gonna talk about another, we're gonna keep outside stepping, we're gonna talk about a concept that this guy can do. He's gonna stop a lot of uh, normal penetration. All right, he stops an outside step. Um, so when this guy gives me pressure, which a lot of people do when they wrestle, they wanna come out and push me backwards. If he keeps pushing me backwards, it gets very hard for me to shoot off my back foot. All right, he's gonna push, he's either gonna catch me going backwards, or he's gonna feel me move into him and just move away. All right, so the whole thing we're gonna deal with right now is this guy's pressure. It gets very hard to shoot off my back foot no matter which one it is, whether we're outside stepping or whether we're inside stepping, all right? So, the first drill we're gonna do, I want partner to put his head on our shoulder. He's gonna start to lean into me and push, go ahead, walk. I'm gonna catch his weight in my back foot, all right? That's what you're gonna feel the pressure. Now, I feel the pressure in my back foot, I'm gonna, depending on which leg's forward, all right, you're either gonna foot switch or just split, all right? So right now I'm gonna show foot switch first. You've already done foot switch, but it's gonna come with a level change this time. So he's pressured into me. I'm gonna foot switch, my front foot is gonna go back. My back foot's gonna go forward, all right? Same concept. Which foot hits first, the one that's going backward? Yeah, the one that's going backward, right? You're gonna move into it. So, foot switch, I level change. Where'd he go? Right over top of me, right? All right, so look. My, if I want to attack his left side, and my right leg's forward, I have to do a foot switch. If I want to attack his left side, my left foot's forward, I don't. I'm still going to split. It's called a split step. So he's giving me pressure. I feel it. I catch my back foot. Now, my feet are going to come up. One, two. The same one, two motion. All right, and the reason this works better than trying to penetrate through him is because he doesn't feel me move. He doesn't feel me move, all right? When I push out my back foot to normal penetrate, he feels me move into him, all right? And he can get off and push me over. When I just drop, he can't feel me move. So whether you're split, I'll do one normal this time. So I'm attacking left side, left foot's forward, head's on the left side, all right? So I feel this pressure on my back foot. I'm gonna drop, split. All right, everybody see my feet go wider? Good, that's the split part of it. Now, there's three pieces to the level change. Foot split, butt drop, chest to thigh. Chin doesn't drop, just like normal. All right, so one more time. Do something with your right foot forward, do something with your left foot forward. All right, if my left foot's forward and I want to attack the left side, am I changing my feet? No, guys, right? you're still outside stepping, but the split step outside step, all right? so. Left foot's forward, I want to attack left. I feel this pressure in my back foot. Drop it. Get me fall over, all right? Partner, no hands right now, all right? Just go elbows up, because we're going to get underneath that arm position. All right? Elbows up. I'll do one foot, or switch stepping. So I feel this pressure in my back foot. Switch my feet, and split step. All right? Everybody see that movement forward he gives? That's what we're looking for. So partner, do a good job of pressuring. Split your feet, drop. Got it? One, two. Quick hustle. Little quick fix. All right, now I want to over exaggerate the pressure. All right. So as a defensive guy, you don't always, you don't want to do this in a match, but for this drill, he's gonna put his head on my shoulder, and he's just gonna lean out over his toes. I'm holding him up with my shoulder. Yep. He's gonna lean. I'm holding him up. Now, when I split step, whether my left or my right foot's forward, I have to switch step depending, right? I'm dropping straight under, he should fall over top of me. All right, don't worry about hitting the knee, just literally lean. All right, I want you guys to feel this pressure release. That's what this kind of attack is called, because I'm taking the pressure and I'm releasing it. And he falls right over top. So one more time, partner's leaning over his toes on me, I got him on my shoulder. I'm in decent wrestling stance, I'm not leaning like him. All right, decent wrestling stance, split, get him to fall. Questions? So you don't want us walking into it? I just want you leaning on them. That creates pressure too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna fall. Yeah, don't step in front of fall. Because if, if I go to attack and he, and he stands up when I attack, I don't feel, it doesn't feel right. This is just to get the feel of pressure. And then we'll go back to the other drill where he's pushing into us like normal. Got it? My partner's gonna be in a good wrestling stance and he's gonna push into me. He pushes me backwards a little bit. I feel that pressure in my back foot. Same thing, I saw my partner's elbows up right now because I don't want to hit my face in the front. We'll find a way to get his elbows up, right? What's one way to get his elbows up? 
Sure. Inside thighs, inside. Fake, fake touch. Fake touch. Yeah. Elbow comes up. So don't worry about it right now. Partner, just keep your elbows up. Press in the knee. I feel like my back foot. I want to attack his left leg. My right leg's forward. What do I got to do? Switch and then split step at the same time. All right. Good. Good. Now, you can go ahead and start lay sliding in. So, I feel the pressure. I catch in my back foot. I got to switch my feet because my right leg's forward. Slide in. Can you stop there? Do you no, stop here. All right. Got it? One, two. We're starting to get our hands involved now. But only one of them. Not two of them. All right. So I just want you to come out whatever side you want to attack. Get an inside tie on that side. All right. Partner is going to take his hand and block on my shoulder over top. And he's going to push into me. All right. I feel this pressure. All right. Now, if I just try to straight split step without doing something specific with my arm, I'm going to run into his hand. All right. Now, I'm going to split step. And I'm going to hide my arm behind my back. I'm going to make his thumb box slip right over top. All right. So I feel the pressure, I feel the pressure, I hide my arm behind my back, slide it. Alright, this position is becoming more and more common, right? What's something else we can do from here that's not an attack? Uh, yeah, I just let go and snap it, right? Get it off my shoulder, right? Because this can cause a lot of problems if we don't know what to do with it. Alright, so we got one off, we can snap it off, right? But for right now, we're working our split step. He's thumb blocking me, pressuring in. I'm trying to hold that pressure. He keeps pressuring in, he's moving me back. Next foot step, my arm slips down behind my back. Change the angle of this guy's thumb block. Slide that in. My attack. Questions? Partner, what's your job? You pressure in with a thumb block on the shoulder. Good, good. My hand is on my back. Oh no, so as soon as my as soon as I clear his thumb block and my hand behind my back, I'm going back to his leg with both hands. Alright? So I feel the pressure. Alright? One, two! When do we split step? Yes, when there's pressure. Right? Because I try to normal penetrate, what happens? I'm going to hit them or they're going to push me over, right? I said, hey, hey, pay attention. All right? So, split step with pressure. All right? So now I want you to go out, get whatever ties you want, or whatever tie, you can say, hey, partner, get whatever ties you want, and I want you to find a way to split step. All right? Which means my partner has to do what? Pressure, pressure right? So maybe I come out and I go, collar, tie, elbow. Oh, I feel the pressure. Up. All right? You will crush people again. All right? Crush people. All right? They don't have the experience or feel that senior level guys do where if I split step, they release pressure right away. High school, and young kids, come out like this. All right? Thanks for the point. All right? So, get whatever ties you want, play around with it for a little bit. I still want a lot of reps. All right? You don't want to get this motion. Down, right? Just put that motion. So, whatever tie you want, whatever tie your partner wants, figure it out, get to that split step. Got it? One, two! Right now! So, we've been getting ties, and our partner's been giving us pressure right away. What's another way to create pressure? Pressure back in. Yeah, push into him first. Alright? So, let's say our mat's only as big as this circle, and I come out and I start pressuring Joe, and he just walks straight out of bounds. What's that? Stalling. Stalling, right? You get a guy to the edge, he's gonna have to pressure. He's gonna have to hold you. So, I want you to get in your circle, start on one side, get to whatever tie you want. I'm gonna start to pressure, pressure, pressure. Before partner goes out, he's gonna stop. All right, I got my pressure. As soon as I feel him plant that back foot, slide in. All right, so, I'm going out to whatever tie I want. I pressure, pressure, pressure. Pass. All right, questions? Yep. So, instead of him just coming out and pressure me, I'm going to the pressure by pressuring him first. All right, so I'm going to get him to the edge of the circle. He stops me. I release and attack. Split step. So I pressure, get him to the edge. There's his pressure. His back foot planted. That's all I need. 
Foot step. Sorry, I'm going. Good. Go on, honey. Finish. Questions? One, two.